So that means that the spine, the spinal cord, leaves the head um, through the hole that's found on the bottom of the head. There's a, a hole and it's called the foramen magnum, and that's where the spine goes through. Now, as far as cerebral spinal fluid, um, I'm sure there's more to it, but as far as what you guys should know about it is that it kind of provides a cushion um, for the spine and the brain itself. It's kind of like a shock absorbent. So whenever the brain is rattled, some kind of impact or trauma, that's uh, the cushion that kind of protects it when it's swishing around inside the brain or the spinal cord. Or the spine, I'm sorry. Spine. Uh, so this just gives you a better visual. So your, your zygomatic bone, there it is. That's, that's your cheekbone. This right here is your mandible. Uh, nasal bone, there it is. Uh, orbits, that's where your eyeballs go. Maxilla, mustache, and then other bones that are found inside as well. Now for your cranium, the front is pretty easy to remember. So they're, they're broken down into plates. So you see, guys see these, these lines right here? They, that's where they're actually connected. So the front plate is called the frontal bone. So that should be pretty easy to remember. Now, the one be, right behind that is the parietal bone. And it takes, uh, it takes over most of the cranium itself, the parietal bone. And there's one on each side. Uh, then you have your temporal bone. Temporal bone is found where the ear is, so it's on the side. Now, the temporal bone is also the most, the thinnest part of the cranium. Uh, and then the occipital is found on the back bottom of the head right here. And the foramen magnum would be right here in the bottom, right in this area. That's where the hole's at, and that's where the spine goes down through to uh, the right, through your spine, uh, through your vertebrae. So as far as your spine goes, the vertebrae itself, so not the spinal cord, but the vertebrae are the bones right here. They're the bones that surround the spinal cord and protect the spinal cord. Just like the cranium protects the brain, the spinal cord encapsulates that spine. I'm sorry, the vertebrae encapsulate that spinal cord and protect it as well. So it's broken down into five different segments. You have your next section, which is called the cervical, thoracic section, which is uh, no, the, the thoraxes, so thoracic lumbar, that's going to be in the abdominal region. Or you can also think of it as the lower back, the lumbar, lower back. That kind of helps me kind of remember. Um, the sacro and coccyx, these last two right here, are going to be mostly infused. That means that they're kind of stuck together. Uh, they don't, they're just infused. They're stuck together. Just like how the, the cranium itself up here. Yeah, perfect. Just how this is infused with sutures, uh, think of it similar to that, but not exactly like that, but they're stuck together, they're infused. Um, and you find these in the pelvic region of the body, okay? So cervical, that's the neck, you have seven vertebrae there. Thoracic, you have, you have 12, okay? And then lumbar, lower back, or abdomen, there's about five in that section, and your sacrococcyx, they're five and four, but they're fused for the most part. Um, each has a spinous process. So just how foramen means a whole process, every time you see this word process in the medical field, think of something protruding out, something is sticking out. So these right here on the back of the vertebrae, these are the processes of the vertebrae. So a process just means that it's sticking out. That's all that means, a process. Um, I would take some time right now and write these down. Um, I'm going to give you like a minute or two to write down um, the section, the cervical, how many vertebrae are in that section, and then where that section is found. So in the neck, that's the cervical section. You have one of seven. You have seven uh, vertebrae, and then it just keeps on going down. So go ahead and just uh, take a few notes on this.